Norma McLeod doesn't see herself as a trailblazer, but the Victoria woman's on the verge of becoming the first person to test the constitutionality of Canada's roadside impaired driving testing laws. I guess I just feel the police aren't having any sympathy for the ones that are having a hard time breathing. We first brought you McLeod's story earlier this month. She was pulled over after visiting the liquor store in the morning. Under federal law, police have the right to ask for a breathalyzer, even without any signs of impairment. She says she wasn't impaired, but because she technically failed to blow, she had her car impounded and her license taken away. This is what the police would do. Yeah. Would they... Lawyers Jerry Steele and Jennifer Terran have now please. taken on McLeod's no. case. Many people are being caught up in this that had not had anything to drink and are being unfairly punished. It is clearly a guilt until proven innocent situation. McLeod isn't alone. Others have come forward to Global News, all with doctor's notes saying they can't breathe strong enough to make the breathalyzer register. For McLeod, her doctor says due to her COPD, a breathing condition, she couldn't make the machine register. Her evidence about her illness was very strong. No matter what happens at court, McLeod and all the others now have the attention of the provincial government. If you have a, a, a medical condition that doesn't allow you to use a, a breathalyzer, there should be uh, some way uh, to deal with that. McLeod says along with changing the law, she wants the roadside test approved. I just hope they have come up with something that, with people that have trouble breathing. McLeod hoping after all this, she gets back the thousands of dollars this is all cost, all something she believes was totally unfair. Richard Zussman, Global News, Victoria.